Okay, well, I made something I like to call the paper battery. And it's quite literally what it means. It's a piece of paper, 8 by 11 sheet, or 8.5 by 11 sheet of notebook paper, or computer paper, or really any type of paper will do. Um, just paper. And it's a paper battery, and what I like to do is I like to fold it a couple times. And it's going to fold it just a couple times. like so fold it in. folding it doesn't really serve any purpose besides uh, for it to be thicker and to hold, hold the medium which is water still water actually but that's what you want and for the plates I use a pencil and you quite literally will draw your plates. Uh, I'll start off with one plate. You just want to lay it on thick. There's one. And do another one right here. I'll put more graphite on this one than I did the other one. This be my bigger plate. Some more lead. Or actually, graphite. This is what this is: is graphite. And there we go. So one is bigger than the other. So there you go. After you're done with that, you want to take some distilled water, top part of the water too. A little bit of tricky part, you got to get this this middle section right here wet, and not this area, and not this area over here wet. If you do, that's going to disrupt your results and give you inaccurate readings. Because you want to read the graphite and not the probes. So. Let's get this a little wet. And that middle section damped. Alright. Then we take our meter and we'll put our probes on it. There you go. Bring negative 14. Yeah. There's positive, so that plate right there is positive and this plate is negative. It's not much voltage, but it is something. Let's try and get it more wet. Getting it wet is probably the most important part. There we go. That's what it wants. Alright. Now we're going to test it. And not to confuse graphite with the probes making a galvanic battery. I'm going to test the voltage by putting the probe in the water. And that's the voltage you would read if this is galvanic, but it's not galvanic. Clean it off. Get the water off the probe. And that's the voltage on it as not being galvanic and they're both silver metals and this is the water battery pretty neat